Hello everybody, uh, Chicago Patriot Prepper here, uh, calling on you once again to please like and subscribe and hit the notifications button. Uh, I've been hearing, um, like I said, sometimes I'm up in the, I'm up at all hours just trying to gather information so I can bring it to you to give you my view on things and my perspective so you can informally make your own decisions. Uh, but, uh, one thing that I, I've been hearing little tidbits about, and I don't really think the mainstream media has been uh, reporting it because I don't watch the mainstream media anymore because uh, for one reason or another, you're not going to get the truth, no matter who they are. But apparently, I believe they said up to 300 NATO officials were killed by a Russian missile strike in a bunker that was supposedly 400 feet below ground in Ukraine. Uh, I don't know if it was, they said it was a hypersonic missile attack, and I believe it was in for a retaliation against the Ukraine going across the border and striking civilian targets. Okay, uh, apparently Russia doesn't like it when you strike their civilians, but uh, they could strike yours. But I digress. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of history there, and we don't even know. Uh, another person was reporting that a lot of people, and I believe I mentioned this word, but the word Ukraine actually means borderland uh, meaning it was like it wasn't controlled by anybody it was just like a border and some people are saying that Poland actually has a uh, an agenda here that uh, they plan on taking the western part of Ukraine and absorbing it I mean could this happen yes does Zelensky know I mean uh, I believe it's Zelensky says that there there will or uh, the Polish uh, the, the Duda or Zelensky are they collaborated on and they said this jointly but there will be no border between Poland and Ukraine. I mean you could take that whatever way you want. I mean no border. I don't know really know what that means if they're gonna uh, you know if if they're gonna start collaborating and. Or if it's going to be the military demilitarized zone or what the actual plan is but uh, in, an, in another event ukraine actually attacked a fuel depot that is causing a major problem in crimea and uh there's a general his name is douglas mcgregor i don't know if you ever watched him he's he was pretty interesting i believe he was the commander or the second to command in nato forces for years and he has a lot to say. The, the, the man is very, very informative. I mean, he knows the ins and outs. He says, basically, uh, uh, us being involved with Ukraine, it really didn't represent the best interests of America. That's my dog coughing, her allergies. Uh, so it didn't, it didn't represent our best interests. I mean... I mean, what is in America's best interest nowadays? Uh, I mean, I mean, we're poking everyone. I mean, uh, everyone's pretty much fed up with us. Iran has seized an American tanker, an oil tanker, and the uh, I don't even know what they call what they call, what they call it. Is it the Strait of Hormuz, that area where all the oil comes through? But apparently, they seized an oil tanker uh, that was actually coming to. America, but I believe the actual container ship was owned by China. So, you know, I mean, they're, they pretty much, you know, uh, stuck their hand in their own pants, you know, their, their cold hands down in their crotch area by doing that. I don't know if you could actually relate to that, but I, I don't think that was really that a good of a decision on their part, but uh, people make a lot of rash decisions. Uh, like I said, another, like the 300 NATO officials were killed in Ukraine. Uh, could that be considered a direct attack on NATO? Eh, not really, because uh, they're in Ukraine. Uh, they're aiding and abetting Russian enemies. I mean, uh, we don't like it when they do it to us, but we can do it to them, and then we call them out. Uh, there will be consequences, we say. There will be consequences. But I digress. And like I said, please stay tuned. Hit the like and subscribe. Uh, there will be the, I will be giving more details on the bullion giveaway. Thank you so much. It's the Chicago Patriot Prepper out. God bless you. God bless America. Thank you again so much.